Hello, I'm Sean, and today I'm going to unbox an Odyssey Spider Vice. Um, I took a class on introduction to uh, fly tying several years ago, and it came with a vise like this. However, the vise ended up breaking on me, and I was I was kind of disappointed. My eyes have been bothering me. I hadn't gone to get glasses yet, so I sort of quit tying flies for a while. I even quit fly fishing for about two years. Um, Anyway, I wound up getting back into fly fishing and fly fishing again for about three years, bought a kayak and uh, started to tie flies again, but I didn't have a vice and I just really didn't want to try and invest in a lot of money in a vice because I wasn't sure I was going to stick with, with fly, tie flying or fly tying, excuse me, I can't say it three times fast. So uh, a neighbor of mine, a friend of mine, loaned me this and it's, um, it, it did the job. I, I've tied maybe three, four hundred flies on this and it just, it's, it, it's not the world's greatest. It's got a lot of movement in it. It's, 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 it did its job and I appreciate it, but, um, I got a little ahead. So I decided to order the, uh, Odyssey Spider Vice. It's not exactly the best vice in the world. It's a nice little rotary vice from what I've read. I've done some reviews on it. I read some reviews on it and I thought, well, we'll give it a try and see how it works out. It's less than a hundred dollars shipped. Um, I do believe it's all made in the USA. So that made me pretty happy. It's made in Montana, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll see what it looks like. So as we open it up, um, we can see that we've got a base, um, which will, and it's, it's, it attaches. Um, it's not a standalone base. Um, I may wind up making one of those. Um, I like to do, I like to make some things on my own. I've got a little bit of a wood shop I can work with, so I may do that. Um, and then we've got what appear to be the jaws and an Allen wrench here. Um, and then I guess this is the stand with the rotary aspect. And then from what I've read, this is the bobbin holder. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video now and then I'm gonna come back with these um, sort of out and maybe assembled and we'll sort of look at that, okay? Well, maybe we'll walk through the process. If I can, I'll set the camera on time-lapse while I go through it. All right, thank you. So as you can see, um, we got it put together. Um, the biggest problem I had was this little silver piece. I didn't realize it went on as an angle. Once I got that there, it was it was basically done. Um, I had an extra O-ring come in the bag with these goodies. I couldn't see where it went. So right now I'm just gonna hold on to it. There's the Allen wrench that came with it for assembly. Um, I'm really happy with it. I think it's gonna work out really well. Um, the rotary works on it just fine. Um, I think it's going to be a nice vice for the money, and I will actually um, try and post up some flies that I've tied with it, and maybe a little bit of video of me actually tying the flies. Um, I had mentioned earlier that I had quit fly fishing and actually tying flies, and one reason was because I was mainly fishing for trout and trying to tie small trout flies, which I wasn't any good at. And I wound up starting to fly fish for bass and smallmouth bass, and so I found some patterns that I liked, and I started trying some. Um, I started off redoing some jigs and moved back into woolly buggers. Um, then I sort of came up with this fly, which I call the Atomic Woolly. I don't know if anybody ever ties anything like that or not, but I'm really excited about fishing it. As soon as the weather warms up a little bit, a um, little foam frog popper. I've been tying a lot of foam topwaters. And then I found this particular fly on the Ozark Anglers um, Forum. It's uh, ice dubbing with two pieces of saddle hackle for um, claws and then a little skirt and dumbbell eyes and it's a little on a jig hook. So I think that'll do really well for some smallmouth bass. Once again, I just wanted to say thank you uh, for watching the video and let me know what you think and I'll put up here in the corner, actually I'll put it in this corner, a link to some of the videos that I've done in the past that are sort of a alter ego beer review um, that you might get a kick out of. So let me know if you enjoy those, leave comments and feel free to follow my page if you'd like. Thank you.